So for this video update, I'm going to be reviewing some weapon changes and additional pickup, along with there's now a new source code out, and it's source code that's going to be to match the next tech demo that's coming out shortly as well, along with some planned online testing. But first, I'm going to head in and show off the weapon changes and new pickup. So I'm going to add some bots, because otherwise the weapon changes don't, they'll be harder, harder to notice. And I'm loading up Sanctuary, which is a map that if anybody's seen any of these videos will recognize. It's one that comes by default with the Shooter Game project. So we'll let that count down, and I'm also going to enable infinite ammo for this. Just for testing, because it I'm not testing ammo. I'm just going to show off some weapon changes and such. So, load it up. So first thing, the grenade launcher has been changed to now explode on impact with a player. It will not explode on impact with a wall. It, it explodes on the second bounce. So you'll see, bonk, bonk. But if you direct hit someone, which, boop, boop, there we go. So direct hits explode on impact now with the grenade launcher. Uh, another change has been made to the mortar. It still maintains the similar, ah, I got shot by a bot. Similar behavior of if it, doesn't hit a surface for a short period of time after spawning it will here I'll just demonstrate it'll explode on impact but if it does touch a surface very quickly it will explode on the third bounce if it hits a player it will arm and then explode on the next bounce so if you want to you can't direct hit somebody I mean I suppose you you can but really if you want to hit someone, you want to aim at their feet. That way it'll bounce off of them and then hit the ground and explode. So those are the changes to really the major weapon changes. Now the additional pickup that's been added, I'm actually going to get some health so I can stop dying all the time. No. Wow, these bots are everywhere. Alright, so this is the new pickup. I haven't actually changed the visual. It looks like the red armor because it is the red armor pickup that's been changed. And what it does, just to show things, this is normal weapon behavior. I fire, I clicked to weapon switch, but it waited for the weapon to reload before it would allow me to switch. Just like the mortar, same with the rocket launcher, all the weapons. This is the default behavior. It is Until the weapon is reloaded, you cannot switch away from it. Now this pickup toggles that. It makes it, two things happen. It makes it to where you can switch away but it also makes it to where you reload in the background. So I can fire a couple of rockets off and then switch back to the mortar and then fire a couple more rockets off and switch back to the disc, I don't know. But uh, the point is it switches up the weapon behavior. Um, it makes it where you can switch away from a weapon that needs to reload and that weapon will reload in the background. So it's something interesting to play around with and I've been meaning to implement it for quite a while. That's really it for the weapon changes and the pickup. So I'm going to hop out into my latest testing area, which is actually the landscape demonstration map that uh, Epic released re uh, just with the latest um, Unreal update, actually, 4.4. So I'm going to load that up. This one, uh, we'll see. I might include it within the map, but it, it's very much so a testing map. I'm uh, kind of dialing in. There seems to be some behavior that... I'm not sure if it's dead stops or if it's just the map's not made for this type of behavior and such. So, so there's some behaviors I have to hunt down and figure out what's going on. But just in general, this is spectacular. It's just to move around on, really. And this, these types of maps are also... And I mean, I'm not saying so much on the scale of this. If somebody wants to do it and they can execute it well, then... Sure, but it's mainly the uh, terrain skiing and such. And like right now, I'm skiing along. There we go. There was a lost a lot of speed, but it actually looked like it was probably due to uh, rough terrain more than anything. So yeah, you can see there's there's things to be tested, but it does look pretty. So that brings me to the uh, planned tech demo release. Um, the last tech demo, we didn't get to do any online testing officially, and I'm actually kind of fine with that. This next tech demo that which will be out over the next week i'm going to see about putting together some testing on the weekends we'll see about getting the tech demo out the, during the week and then 
see about getting something going on on the next weekend, which I guess that would be the 31st, I guess. Uh, we'll see. And if it doesn't happen then, then we'll see about getting it the next weekend or during the week or something. But I actually want to get some online testing done because for free-for-all and team deathmatch, those are in working order and I need to just do online testing for them. So anyhow, that's really it for this video. Um, if you're interested in the source code and uh, content, I suggest going and grab those from the source page. If you are interested in mapping, this is probably the tech demo, the first one where I'd say go for it. At this point, I've got the, the fundamental mechanics and everything are working reliably enough to where you can test concepts and get things kind of rolling in that respect. Oh yeah, I forgot I can turn on HP regen so I can just launch and infinite ammo. Huh, so it's not the end of the video apparently. All right, so you're gonna watch me uh, jump around because this is something I haven't done yet. I should also put in infinite jets, just because why not? There we go. Yeah, this is interesting actually. The the trees are something very new. I don't. I've never played a game with jetpacks and skiing that actually has trees. That makes sense, but this this is meant for hang gliding. For anybody who doesn't know this landscape demo at all, it comes set up as a hang glider game, and so it's actually kind of neat like that. But it's more so interesting that flying, skiing through trees and stuff is kind of fun. So uh, anyhow, that's it for this one. If you uh, have any questions or comments, you can of course post them on the YouTube comments page or on Twitter or on the game forums. Or I'm lurking around on the FPSZ and Arena FPS subreddits. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.